Hello YouTubers um, and welcome to this my third video about STM32 and STM32 development. Um, my first two videos in hindsight and a few uh, friendly viewers have commented that they are way too long. I am aware of that and um, the last video I made is also ironic in that I set out to create a simple LED blink application and I never really got around to blinking the LED. So in this video I'll attempt to be a little bit more focused and actually arrive at a blinking LED um, in an application. I'll start all over again and uh, I'll do an application that simply blinks a LED and nothing else. I will, however, do it the wrong way. And then in a later uh, next video, I will explain how I would actually do this. So if you remember for the last video, or if you have watched the last video, I actually set up GitHub. So my workspace is in under JIT uh, revision versioning control. And the workflow I usually employ, since I work on more than one computer normally, is before I do anything else, I pull my JIT repository to make sure that everything I have locally is up to date. And as you can see there, it is up to date. Let's go back into STM32 Cube ID. And well, I do have the Black, Lake, Black Pill Blink uh, project here. But well, let's make a new one uh, anyway. Um, so new STM32 project. It will initialize the target selector. We will select the uh, MCU on the black pill board, which is an STM32F411. CE. So this is the MCU that we are actually targeting and we will call this uh, black pill blink one. The last one was black pill blink which never was blinking. So um, STM32 cube ID will now fire up the STM32 cube up MX, which will allow us to configure the MCU. And this is, I mentioned this in the previous video, sometimes a bit slow. Uh, what is happening is sometimes it downloads some library updates and uh, we have to wait for that. In the last video, I initialized a lot of stuff in the MCU. In this one, I will focus on getting a LED blinking. So I will initialize the bare minimum. And the bare minimum is essentially, we need the cell, cell wire debug which is what we connect the, the uh, ST-Link device to. And then we need the LED port to be a GPIO output. We will call that LED. And we will go over to the GPIO and change the configuration of this to be default high. High and make it open drain. See, it's still updating some libraries down here and when that happens it often screws up the user interface a bit. So there, now it's, I think it's done. So this should be the absolute bare minimum necessary to run an application. So let's try to generate the code based on this configuration. And you will see that as the last time, it actually generates a main.c um, where we can run our code. And um, to blink a LED, all we need to do is to 
go down to the loop down here and, and handle the lead. Oh. So what we need to do is we need to toggle the lead and we can use the toggle lead, uh, toggle pin command to do that. We need to give it the port and the pin. This will toggle the pin. If we look at what let GPI port is actually defined as, you can see that that is GPIO C, the GPIO the C port, and the pin is actually pin 13. So this will toggle the C port pin 13, where the LED is attached. And then we do a hell delay of 500 milliseconds. So we will basically, every 500 milliseconds, we, we will, will either toggle the LED on or we'll toggle the LED off. Let's see if this works. Project, uh, build project. And we will run the project first time it will always come up and ask us to conf to accept the configuration of the debugger but the default values are correct so there we go and it flashes the led okay we are back and what i have done in the break is to actually set up so I can watch a video of, uh, it's a very, very crappy webcam that I'm using for this that I stole from my daughter. So um, sorry about the quality, um, but let's try to modify the code to blink faster, just to prove that it's working. We can blink every 100 milliseconds. Um, let's get that video going again and run this code and as you can see it is blinking much much faster now so that's pretty much it now let's uh, look at the code that we are running here I am toggling the pin and I am waiting for 100 or let's put this back to 500 milliseconds um, the problem with this is that while we are waiting held delay, um, we can't do anything else. And in embedded programming, that is a really, really bad approach. So I am going to fix this at a later um, in, in the next video, actually. Another thing I will say is that we didn't configure the clock in this case. So we're actually running on an internal RC um, oscillator, which is very, very imprecise. It, it can drift, I think it's like four or 5%. We could look at the data sheet to figure this out uh, exactly. And we have a much, much more precise crystal on this uh, board. So uh, to make this a bit more precise, we could enable the crystal. We did do that in the last video by saying we want to use an external crystal, which is connected to these two pins. And then we can go over here. It is a 25 megahertz crystal as is configured here. Uh, we can zoom in a bit to make that easier to see. And rather than using the internal high speed uh, oscillator, we can then switch to using the external oscillator. Uh, and we can switch over to the PLL and we can set this one to 100 megahertz, which is the maximum this processor can run. Now it will use the external crystal, which is much more precise. In terms of, oops, sorry, we need to update project, generate the code. And we can now build the project, 
and flash the project. There won't be any noticeable difference. The LED will still be flashing and that is about it. So I think this video will end up being probably less than 10 minutes, uh, which is pretty much, I my aim would be around 10 to 15 minutes videos. I think that is the attention span of most people. So I will um, try this and uh, this pretty much concludes this particular video. In the next video, uh, I will rewrite this to do it in a more clever way. And in the following video after that, I will actually show you how to debug what we are doing in this uh, application. So uh, stay tuned. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.